Now, that's the thing, right? Because if Carl Jr. is not going to ban bolt holds because you said, well, somebody else might do that, right? I think a, a strong ban would be forest climbing. Even though Carl Jr. has great pace on the map as well, Mime just showed just something on another level earlier. He really did. And we are starting the second semi-final. Carl, Afi, Mara, and Masa on new school. This is Carl Jr. territory. He has consistent pace faster than many players. Personal best records on this track will always get down to that 05.3, 05.2 pace. And he has four rounds to kick off this semifinal with a lead on the map of his choice. He does. Let's take a look at Carl Jr. then, just see how his lines are going to turn out compared to his opponents. Everybody is pretty close to each other. You can see Carl Jr. really utilizing the space, trying to get as much exit speed as possible on those drifts, and is now in contesting with Massa for that first place. Is he going to be able to remain in the lead after this plastic turn? Mudda once again going super wide, but he is a little bit behind. We talked about this. Mudda is more of a snowballing guy. And this is such a tech-heavy map. You can't accumulate speed throughout the map. So we have Amasa and Carl Jr. still fighting in the lead, but only 0.1 of a second separating the field. Yeah, and Mara, though he goes for water lines that actually snowball speed, it will still be in last. All the three other players are within just two hundreds in the first round. The ice slide setup will be very important. The more you can fling the car into this turn, the better while still maintaining the grip. Off he goes a great ice slide as Carl actually makes a small mistake here in the first round. Uncanny to see that. Off he slides out. Masa hits the wall. And I think we have a lot of nerves coming through as Mudda will take that one away with a 106. A 106 winning time is not what you expected. Uh, that is like 0.7 slower than what I would uh, assume was going to be each of the times here on this map. But it can happen once uh, you see a mistake. Maybe you, you know, it's just a curse. It keeps rolling and Mudda will take that home, capitalize on it and get the first 10 points as he makes a mistake in the start of the second round. He did make a mistake, but the checkpoint split was plus 420. So who says it really was a big mistake? Yep, that's <laughs> true. Jokes aside, Mudda one second behind. Masa almost a second behind as well. And now Carl and Afi in first and second, but I think even without the mistakes, if Carl gets through this map without Ooh. crashing, he's hard to follow. What's going on in the start of this semi? Yeah, Carl Jr. is making mistakes we have not seen him do throughout the last couple of days and the last eight matches that he has been in. But the other players will say thank you and capitalize on this map, the map that they were most afraid of playing against Carl Jr. in. And Afi and Masa are now in first and second place. Afi on a comfortable lead here, 0.4 lead. Masa getting a little bit closer, but it does look like Afi is going to be able to take it home. Masa almost sliding out, but yeah, they're going to take first and second. Mudda taking third and Carl Jr. coming in fourth again. Very well, not again, interesting. Coming in fourth. Yeah, yeah, coming in fourth, but the times are all about a second off what we are used to. So still two rounds to go. You know, I think finally being up there, finally being had in front of the crowd and uh, being the moment that you waited for. And it's all just happening and you need to really uh, catch yourself and think, OK, I, I got to get in the zone now. I can't just sit and th overthink this. I just got to play my game, drive the tracks like I'm used to in the back room and also at home and try to avoid mistakes. This on Offy with an early bad landing on the dirt there. He lost speed by landing too much sideways. Masa uh, is in the lead as Mara looks further behind than he really is. Coming back from that wide line, he will be 0.25 behind. But the two pace kings on this map, Masa and Carl, that do top the leaderboard with the fastest records are battling for the 10 pointer. Yeah, as we head into the second part of the map here, Masa is going to be taking the lead away from Carl, but Carl is going to keep pressuring, getting a more inside line, getting a little bit closer, overtaken here in the start of the ice slide, but Masa might be able to take it back with the exit speed. They're going to be neck and neck here going into the final right-hander, and it does look like Carl Jr. gets it the best, taking back that 10-pointer that we've been expecting him to get on this map, but still with a 105.66. Yeah, it's a, uh, that well still now we're getting into the good times. I think Carl can do point two, can do point three, but if a point six will do and he gets the 10 points, he will at least take the lead on his choice. 
but it's not going to be the 40 point performance that I think a lot of people were expecting. The best thing you can do right now is 29 with another win, but Masa was so close to challenging that and taking the lead of the match himself. Here, I think we had a mistake, but we did not. Very close in the drift for Afi and Mara, but all four players have survived the start at least. Yeah, and if we take a look at the points, 15, 17, 18, and 19, as we are playing the last round here of New School, these are some very, very close uh, points here that I did not expect to see coming out of the first map. And I'm honestly happy about it. I love seeing these very, very close matches as Call Jr. is not even in first right now. I am very impressed by the rest of the field. He still has this last section to catch up to and he goes up to second place. Is he going to be able to overtake here in the ending? Afi trying to defend that first place. Call Jr. overtaking. One more ice slide to go. Is he going to be able to take it home right here? It does look like he is. Afi on second, Mata on third, and Masa coming in in fourth. A little bit of a shaky start, but now you can see Carl getting back to usual business. Just dominating there. 105.4 is a spectacular time to do. And with that, he gets to lead 29 points. Yes, but now we're going to head into Slalom, which is a map picked by Mutter. As we talked about earlier, we saw some of the stats. Mutter has incredible pace and incredible consistency on this map. And he's not that far behind heading out of New School. So I expect to see Mutter racking in some points right here. We Let's hope his endings have been great here. In the 10 rounds that we've seen Mutter play on Slalom, he's always done a time under 104. He's never crashed here once so far in the World Cup group stage, and the world record is a 103.2. So driving consistently under 104 without ever crashing is a certain way to get a lot of points, but yeah. Carl can do that too. Masa can do that as well. Afi can do that as well. Afi did great here in the last World Cup when it was also played. This is going to be a spectacular lineup to see on Slalom. Absolutely, and I think a 103.5 or below are going to be the winning times that I am going to be looking for. That is incredibly fast driving. As we see Mutta in the lead here, obviously on a very fast full speed section, he is going to capitalize on that section as he gets into second place actually overtaken by Masa as well and Afi and Masa are gonna try to push further ahead but Mara is not gonna let go as we head into the first couple of slaloms. Yeah this is why the map's called slalom. Masa actually dropping a gear there that's gonna put him far behind the others here the second slalom part up the uh, the sausage block not the bobsleigh you see Carl Jr. overtaking Afi and Mara for that first place going for a low line on the grass all three players are in contention, and then the last slalom part here, where Mutta is one of the best players that's setting it up with an inside Ooh. line. Off he slides out, Mutta will have a lot of speed down the hill, and it looks like he can dodge the lanterns. He will be taking the first 10-pointer on his own choice. Carl in second, off he third, and Massa in fourth. And this is what Mutta is hoping for when he picks a map like this, is the inconsistencies in the final ice slide right there. It can be so tricky. You enter it with so much speed and you have to do such a sharp 180 turn. Accidentally sliding out or accidentally hitting one of those outside poles is very, very easy. And Mutta seems to be on such a consistent line every single time there. Yeah, it's, it's almost infallible. It's just like him playing a section of a song perfectly on an instrument. Like he knows what he has to do with the car there every time. It's refined. It doesn't even look that difficult when he does it. He makes it look easy when it is incredibly difficult to even just get through that part uh, and not just do it, you know, pixel perfect next to the walls. Here, Masa keeps the gear in the dirt. Carl is in last by a tenth, but all four players are fighting for this. Best speed up the hill will be offy by a little bit. As him and Mutta extend their lead, Carl though pushing this grass turn, going for a low setup. They're all here now in the slalom, exciting race. Who's gonna get the 10 points? Up the hill we go. Carl with a wider setup than the others, trying to go for an inside line here, but he loses the grip, and so did Mutta. Uncanny mistake there, as it's going to be off the about a wheel ahead of Massa to take the 10 pointer. And that is the first mistake we've seen Mutter do on this map the entire tournament, right? It's the very first mistake he's done. That is unfortunate to be doing in the semi-finals, but that does not matter. Mutter is right behind Afi and Cole Jr. there on the first, shared first place. 
and it is still on his map choice. He has a couple of rounds to get back into it, and he might actually see himself on first heading out here of Bobsleigh. Or of yeah, Slalom. Of Slalom, yes. And Mara there, I think he knew that that was a very close round. Like, just surviving might not have been enough to win. I think at a very strong time, 0. 0.6. So I think he tried to push a little extra here again. Getting a fast start, getting a wide jump. This can be a hard control in the landing. You basically have to instantly turn to avoid the ball. Off he will have his back to clip that one. And Mara is extending just a little bit. Masa setting up wide for speed. That's going to be too much speed. Has to release here in the second slalom park to stay alive in the race. Costing him two tenths. Carl versus Mara into the ending now. Carl likes to set up a little bit more to the right. You're going to see him approaching this more on the right side. Trying to go for an inside line towards that checkpoint. But Mara still gets the best exit speed. He time and time again does this ending. And though he had a mistake, he's going to do a very fast time here to take 10 more points. Yeah, mid-103 is exactly what I was saying. That's what we're looking for. And that is Mara's pace. Showing up with another 10-pointer. He's going to jump up ahead of Carl Jr., ahead of Afi, and he's going to be in such a great spot going out of this map. He is 45 points now, still one more that he can capitalize on, and if he gets this one, he would have gotten 34 points on his map choice, whereas Carl got 29 on his first, so Mara does still need to win the race, and it's only just begun, but that is what he's playing for right now. Could get over 30 points on his map. Yeah, going into... Another round here of Slalom. Mara seems to be taking the lead in the start. Afi right behind going into the Slalom sections. Mara wants to be able to remain in the lead right here because if he does so and goes into the last section, he basically has that victory in his hands. But Afi getting a lot more exit speed. Masa also coming in from behind and Mara is now going to find himself on that third position. He's going to look to capitalize here in the ending, but Afi and Masa extending their lead just a little bit. Are they going to get the ice slice though? Let's take a look. Mara going so inside is that going to be safe i don't think he's going to get the exit speed afi doing just fine masa not finding the speed to overtake afi almost hitting that lantern but afi taking a really good 103.46 victory here that was a crazy fast round by both afi and masa Mora did not really drop a bad run there he did get through it without a mistake but the others also delivered fantastic runs the fastest we've seen here uh, just point four is, you know, two times away from record. So clutch by them to beat Mara there and not let him get too far away in the overall standings. And now we have Tiny Gap. A great map for Carl Jr. It's going to be tough to beat him on pace here because his consistency is menacing. That is true, but as we've talked about several times before, the person that has beat Carl Jr. on this map and indeed won the TMGL Championships was Mutter, who beat out Carl Jr. on this map by 6 thousandths of a second. So it's going to be interesting to see the two rivals here, uh, you know, have a rematch on Tiny Gap. It is, and it is in a very important match as well. The semi-finals, whoever wins here, goes to face Otak and Mime in the Grand Finals. Tiny Gap here, defined by that jump right there into the Tiny Gap in the ending. And it is very precise to aim it. You need precisely around 215 speed to get it. With different setups, you can go for 212 or 216. That's what they're looking for, though. Yeah. A low 200 speed is what they're looking for. I also want you guys just to appreciate some of the scenery as we ride through Tokyo nighttime in Japan with the neon lights around the place here. Such a pretty map that the players are going to be playing on, but they're, of course, just going to be noticing the lines and their opponents. Yeah, perfect start there for Masa. Getting the grip all the way down the hill on the most inside line he can take. Going down that bowl. We see Mara with an awkward landing. This is going to snowball for the others, and he's going to be about 0.4 behind, I think, on this checkpoint. 0.5 as the others now jump through the gate here and set up for the quarter pipe jump to the other side. Careful not to go too low here. You just want to stay right on the edge from jump to jump across the bridge and into the water. Masa is taking the lead in this first round, actually beating Carl Jr. up until the last jump. But this is where Carl usually gets the last jump perfectly every time as we see what speed they set up for. Carl going for a 211 and a low jump. Will Masa be able to handle that? Will he be able to deal with that? He misses the jump and it is going to be Carl taking the first round with a 0.6 ahead of Afi and Mara. And that is unfortunate for Masa not getting that final jump. Actually, 
almost not getting the finish at all, but he does make it there in the ending. Masa with such a great pace throughout the entirety of the map, and then just missing that final jump is so unfortunate, but he does show us that he has the pace to keep up with the others, and he might even get himself some victories on this map. He really might. He starts out so well by doing a no slide here. You can see, if you pay attention, the skid marks behind the player's cars temporarily disappear as they stop sliding on purpose to accelerate a little bit more. That's where Masa gained a lot last time, but here, the others can follow him now. They're ahead, actually, and Mura did not mess up the start, so let's see what he can do when he's right on par with the others. Through the checkpoint, good speed onto the ice, setting up for that passage through the gate, and now the quarter pipe jump across. Do they have the lineup? Do they have the setup? Carl just letting his front wheel there barely get past it as Mura clips out, and it is again Carl versus Masa for the tiny gap jump. Yeah, only one jump separating them from getting the top points. Carl Jr. is in the lead, and once Carl Jr. is in the lead here for the final jump, he usually seems to remain there, but Masa is going to try to push it. He does not want to hit that final thing again, and Masa actually overtakes Carl Jr. in the ending. What a great jump coming in from Masa as he takes that first place home. Masa gets it. Carl committed for a little bit too much speed. You saw Masa was at a 2.13, and Carl was even faster than that. So that's why Carl had to let off the acceleration, couldn't go at full speed. And with that, Offy is now tied with Carl Jr. for first, but it is so close as they are all within 10 points of each other. Yeah, it is definitely so close right now, but that's what we talked about. This group of players might as well have been the finals already. These players, this map in general is so stacked and these players are showing us they got the pace to show off all of them very very close to each other looks like they're all pretty consistent right here called junior will take the lead though as they head into the first ice section into the quarter pipe jump called junior is a dangerous opponent to have in the lead as we head into the second section of the map Masa pushing a little bit too low there on the quarter pipe jump Masa uh, Mara, sorry getting more speed than Carl across the bridge and into the water part has to maintain the grip now, setting up wide, avoiding that airtime, that's in the lead. This is a repeat of the situation we saw in TMGL Finals that time. Mara won on the last jump, will he do it this time or will Carl overtake? Mara holds and history rings true. Mara takes two out of two here in the adding against Carl. Yes, and that is... Just a repeat of that TMGL final, as you say. Unfortunately there, Afi was not able to finish, so he's gonna bounce down one position in the leaderboards. Mutter now taking over, inheriting that second place, and Carl Jr. is only one point ahead of him. This is such a close game here, Virtual. It's just flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I can't really tell how we're gonna uh, see anyone really make a breakaway because they keep trading rounds. They know they have to push, one round, it's Afi crashing, the next one, it's Mara, and it's just back and forth, and the times they're driving are spectacular. Onto the donuts now, Mara has lost 6 tenths in the start of the others, with a small wheel clip. Carl in the lead, ahead of Afi. On Afi's map choice, so, or was this Ma Masa's? I can't remember. Either way, Afi did get a second place earlier, he's in second right now. Maybe he can make it a first on the last round here. Tiny gap. It was indeed Afi's map choice, and he is currently in the lead ahead of Carl Jr. One jump separating him from getting those 10 points that he definitely also needs. Getting the jump. Carl Jr. seems to be getting more speed. Afi with a mistake once again, and Masa jumping up to second. But Masa also with a huge mistake, and Mutter will overtake up to second place, even with a three-second deficit. Wow, it looks like Mutter was out of that round. But he will take six points there. Carl gets the 10 though. This was a map that even though it was picked by Alfie, based on the stats, Carl could have easily taken four wins. Instead, he got two wins and two second places. That is still well played by Carl Jr. And Tiny Gap indeed is a very good map for him and Mutter as well. And maybe we're going to see Carl Jr. do that breakaway you talked about as we head into Heart, which is Masa's map pick. Let's take a look at Heart. This is one of the most played maps this World Cup, and the reason is nobody really minds it. The only people who have minded it is those unfortunate enough to play against Pac, who is dominant here. Uh, this is a map that is very technical. It has 
great turns, great setups, really good flow is something the players talk about. They like how this map feels to play. It's just raw skill, not a lot of uh, random parts like jumps or obstacles you have to pass. It's just clean racing, and that's what we get to enjoy right now. It definitely is. Let's see who has the best pace going into the first round. Mutter with a little bit of a slower start than the others is going to be behind by 0.2 already as the others are going to be really close to each other. Call Junior also getting a little bit behind right here, but that gives us a great view of the two people in front. And although Call Junior takes just 0.2, 0 5 of a deficit in the lead does not matter because he will bounce right back as we head into the one of the most important parts of the map this right-handed drift try to get as much exit speed on the downhill as you can to get the best uphill possible afi called junior doing it really well afi actually in a really great lead as we head into the second section of the map important downhill right here you want your wheels to avoid jumping and now it's about how much speed you dare to carry into this turn in the underwater part you can see them leaving that corner very close to their right set of tires. Afi holding on to this lead against Carl Jr., against the reigning world champion right now. But Carl, just want that 10 points. Afi, the finish line is right in front of you. Are you going to hold on for hundreds of a second in the favor of Afi on the first round here? And Afi is very happy to take those 10 points home as he did not get a win on his own map. And now he's going to get a win on Masa's map pick. And he will say thank you to that. Masa is currently uh, trailing a little bit behind in the points right here. And we got to hope that he can see if he can find the pace here on his own map pick. Yeah, let's hope. That wasn't the best start. It is, of course, a map also set in Germany, in Berlin, with the scenery around the buildings. Some famous landmarks as well that you might be able to spot. But here, Masa picked it because he is fast on it. He is incredibly good when it comes to maps like this. Afi crashed out by one second. That is enough to put you far behind the others. They are all within a tenth. In the second half here, anything can happen. But what you need to do to win is to drive pixel perfect next to the walls. Yeah, this is so scary. Masa accidentally hitting one of the poles there in the slalom section. And he's going to trail a little bit behind. As Carl Jr. has a very good lead going into the identity. Just a couple of jumps here for Carl Jr. to take another 10-pointer home. But Mata is trying to fight for it. The second he sees a weak spot there, he's going to try to get ahead. And he's so close to overtake. Will he be able to do so? Ooh, 23 hundreds of a second separating them. But, or sorry, 23 thousands actually, right? 23,000s, um, but what a comeback attempt that was. Nearly had it, but just a sliver. If the finish line, you know, was placed two blocks further away, Mata would have won with the speed. He'll still take those points, and he's able to keep up with Carl here. That is what we saw when they faced off in group status. Uh, Mata was ahead of Carl when they both reached 100 points. Here, he's 11 points behind, but he's doing the job. He doesn't necessarily need to beat Carl yet. If he wants to go to the finals all he needs to do is to make sure that he beats Afi and Masa and in that aspect he is making it work absolutely I think the uh, the predictions we talked about here with Carl Jr getting a really good starting line is actually very interesting because he's not breaking away just as much as I thought but right now here on hard it does really seem like he's been practicing he has the pace to maintain that lead for a long time money getting a lot of airtime not losing too much speed though and Masa trying to pressure in here all the players are so close to each other who's gonna make a breakaway here in the ending is called Junior gonna be able to maintain that lead he does get overtaken by Afi will Afi maintain it who's gonna get that last jump Mata actually in the lead but Mata falling out the side and Afi is gonna take home that 10 point and Mata on second almost not hitting the finish line what an incredible round 700s between all of them Afi inching it out as Mata it was near disaster there he was able to steer right as the car was falling off the last plank to flick the car into the finish and secure second at least but if it continues like this we are going to witness one of the greatest matches ever played they're all constantly fighting for it everyone has a chance to win in every round yeah it's so so close also just on the leaderboard 
talking about. We've been playing four maps now, and there's still only about 20 points separating all of the players as Mata is in the lead here on a really strong time. Does he have the exit speed to go up the hill here? He does have the exit speed to remain on first. Landing a little bit before Cole Jr. Might be able to get that exit speed from accelerating a little bit more, and he remains in the lead going into the water section. And let's remember, Mata has a good end here many times now. He's gained a lot on the others in the ending part, the last jumps. He could be beating Carl here just to the merit of that ending. Here again, getting more speed as he sets up for the last plank. Carl landing a bit too sideways. Mata getting a bit too much airtime though to make the comeback work. Carl will defend that and he will now breach the 100 point margin just ahead of the others by about 15 points. Yeah, Carl Jr. now getting dangerously close to that finalist position and the others do see it but as we've seen in the previous semi-final just because you hit finalist does not mean you're gonna win immediately mime hit finalist a lot before the other contestants and he was still very very close to not making it into the finals it was it was he could have had you know it was one round away from pack beating him on red landing one landing actually just away from that yeah. being a reality so uh, once you get to finalist, it's not over, and in these matches, we're playing to 140, not just 120. So the matches go a little bit longer, and what that might mean is that if Carl scores good points on Bob Sag, the upcoming map, he could be ending up being finalist on New School, his map choice. And if Carl Jr. ends up finalist on New School, that is gonna be scary for the other players. Though we did see Cole Jr. make some mistakes we haven't seen him make here on the first round of New School. But hopefully he is warmed up and ready to play that map again and show us those point threes that he's been showing us the last couple of days. Oh yeah, let's hope Mara with the mistake there, the phase plan as he was setting up for the jump drift. We are currently in Canadian territory in Toronto on the Bobsag map. So Carl Jr. home turf here. Masa though in the lead, Tuffy does come up side by side with him together with Carl across the water section there. An important ice slide now remains and then the identity. Here you can either set up wide like Afi does or the inside line like Carl and Masa opt for. Afi now coming back with more speed due to that wide line but it's still Carl in the lead. As we get to this identity, the crazy bob sag, where you have to zigzag and jump and try to carry as much speed as possible. Carl Jr. failed it, off he gets it perfect to take the first win here. Massa in second and Mutta is going to get third. That is an unfortunate respawn there from Carl Jr. He noticed very early that he was not going to get the lines. Once you slide out on that bobsleigh section, it can be very, very easy to not be able to get back into the rhythm of it. And he saw that happening. He recognized it and was like, I need to insta respawn. Otherwise, I'm just not going to get into the finish. Yeah, and that is sometimes you just have to bite the sour apple if we have a saying in Norwegian and that's what Carl had to do there recognize okay I messed up the first round I still have three more to go here and he is not looking that affected by that first mistake as he is powering on here in first in round number two and that is the thing about Bob Sack Bob Sack has a very very difficult ending and the other players have uh have called Junior getting really close to finalist, and that means that they're very happy to see him get last. But right now he is on first, actually second, as Afi just overtakes. But Call Junior with that inside line might take that first place right back. Point one ahead of the others, but not getting the same amount of exit speed. Can he get this bobsat section better this time than last time? He's going left then right then left once again will he land it he does not he gets such a huge slowdown and call jr will once again get fourth mutta jumps up to first very close there mutta with the access feed on the bob sleigh paying off big time he gets the 10 off he just beating muscle by a car length to take second as well very very close there and all of a sudden call jr only four points ahead of Mutta with those two fourth places in a row and Mutta getting some good placements. That is just, that's all it took for the other players to get close to Cole Jr. Yeah, his lead has diminished Offy as well. A first and a second here, starting off on Bob Sag. This is a good map for him. And right now, he too is, you know, just five points away from being in the lead in the match. We see an early mistake from Mutta again, but. The ending section being so decisive means he might be able to snipe someone later on. 
Marcel losing a little bit of ground to Carl as Uffy joins the mix again. They're all there equal before the ice slide. Uffy's again going to go wide for the setup. That's going to be a shaky landing. Is able to control it, but importantly, he gets the gear a little late, so the extra speed won't be as important. And Carl now has another chance to win on Bob Sag. Needs to go early left past this pillar to set himself up for that jump. Does he land in the downhill? That's actually not the greatest landing for Carl. Afi and Massa are approaching, but he does remain ahead. He does remain ahead. And you saw that landing from Carl was actually pretty inside of the bobsleigh. Usually the players are trying to land on the very far left side to get pushed onto the right side. But Carl noticed that he had a great lead and was able to take a more safe approach to get that victory down. He did not want to get another slowdown. Yeah, he had to avoid it. And usually the way to do that is after that first landing in the bobsleigh, you have to go so close to the red pillar to set yourself up for the next jump. You got that movement good, and at that point you can breathe a little bit easier as you know you're on a good line. Also very important for Masa now to score some big points on this map. He is the public world record holder with a 1 minute 90, about half a second faster than what the players are currently doing. And in this round, they might be driving that pace because Afi who hasn't made many big mistakes, is being half a second behind Carl and Massa's pace. Yeah, but Carl Jr. getting more extra speed into that top section right there, going into the ice slide as well, and Carl Jr. will once again find himself in the lead as they head into the identity section. Massa is going to try to pressure, actually getting a good amount of extra speed. Is he going to be able to overtake Carl Jr.? does look like, and Massa is going to find his first victory here on Bob Sack. And he is with a low 101. A very nice time. Great time from Masa there. Beating Carl Jr. And he puts himself now also in the mix for winning. He's going to we're going to go to new school. It's a great map for Carl and for Masa. Masa's not out yet, and this could still go anyone's way, really. Yeah, and if Carl Jr. does not seem to get the uh the first couple of rounds, maybe three rounds there of New School on first place, he might actually, it is possible he's not going to hit that finalist position in time to, to get that New School finish. He needs to get there, you know, ideally within the first two rounds to have two attempts ideally. at it. If he ideally. Goes to, yeah, if he goes to Slalom, it's going to be tough. That map, he didn't win a single round. His best position was second place. And then he had third and two fourths. So if he can't close it on New School, Mudda especially has a great chance on Slalom. Exactly, and that's what I'm thinking that Carl Jr. also knows about right now. He knows he has to push out that little extra bit right here on Slalom because, or right here on New School, because on Slalom, Mudda is gonna, you know, increase the pace and Mudda might actually beat out Carl Jr. for the first time in the entire tournament if Carl Jr. doesn't get it right here as we head into the first round of New School Virtual. The most important thing here for the others is that Carl Jr. doesn't win here. If he doesn't, they can at least guarantee two rounds of breathing room before he gets that badge. But already two players have crashed out in the opening stages. And now it's Mudda versus Carl to fight for the 10-pointer. Great wide line there for Mudda. Looked like Carl didn't get the correct no slide. And Mudda has to lead by a 10th. But he's playing against the three-time tech World Champion Carl Jr., who is best in this style right now in his element, but Mara is doing good enough drifts to hold the lead temporarily. Bit of a wide setup for the reaction booster. Carl will inherit the lead about a tenth ahead, but Mara could be considered the better ice player. He is going into his element right now. In the ending, he has him in his sights. He can take this win away from Carl. He's the only player that can do so. Needs the last ice slide to go his way. Setting up for it. Carl will hit the oh. inside wall, and Mara will bridge the gap there as even Massa is able to deny Carl some vital points. That is important for the other players. Now, the only way Carl Jr. can get into finalist mode in the next round is by getting first place. So if they deny Carl Jr. another round without finalist, he will only have one round where he is finalist on New School. And that could be so important to the other players. And the time that Mudda drives there, incredibly competitive. Keep in mind, Carl was two turns ahead. He was on pace for a point four, but a point six for uh, Mudda will put pressure on Carl. He knows he has to deliver close to what he usually does here, though. The players are again falling a bit behind on the start. A wall hit from Masa. Mara with a small mistake early. This could be Carl getting that important 10-pointer. Yeah, it really could. 
And if he gets it, he has two rounds where he's finalist on New School, the map of his choice, and a map where he has better pace than any other player in the tournament, better consistency as well. So let's take a look if he can maintain that lead currently as we head into the final section of the map. He is almost 0.2 ahead of Mutter, the player on second place, but Mutter is going into the ice section together with Call now, and he might be able to overtake in the end. And Call had a small mistake on the ice section here in the last round. Will he be able to save it this time? It does look like he is able to take that home that 10th place and now puts himself in a finalist situation. Carl does what Carl does best, but they are putting him under a lot of pressure. He needs to get to a point three to secure that win. Mutta was right there, ready to drop a point five to deny him. And here, what could be interesting, if Mutta's able to beat him one time, they're both finalists. But Carl, this is looking good for him. Two rounds left of his best map in the map pack to try to reach the grand finals and go for his fifth world champion title. As we see Uffy crashing out in the start, it's two other players that stand in his way before he can meet Otak and Mime. The big thing here for Mutta is he's going to try to pressure as much as possible. If Mutta denies call and gets the first place, Mutta will also put himself into finals position. Go Oh, and Mutta makes a mistake. Call Jr. is now Masa. fighting with Masa, but Masa also makes a mistake. And Call Jr. is going to be all alone here in the lead on the map of his choice. And Call Jr. might be able to take home that first finals position. It's all in his own hands right now. It's all in the ice slides. But one thing we keep saying is that safe thing can sometimes be hard if you're used to driving risky lines. You overthink your setup, you overthink the slide, and you know that the other players are right there to capitalize if you make one mistake. So it's not taken for granted. Carl Jr. into the finish, and he will secure it. Carl Jr. is going to the grand finals to play for his fifth title. So far, it is Carl Jr., it is Mime, and it is Otak in the grand finals. Who will be the fourth and final player to join these three players in the finals? Is it going to be Mutta, Afi, or Masa? Mutta is getting dangerously close to that finalist position. He only needs to get second place right here out of the three players to put himself in finalist. Going into Slalom, arguably his best map out of the map pack here. This is lining up for Mutta. But it is also lining up quite well for Afi Slalom. He drove the fastest time there earlier. He beat Mutta's best run in the four rounds by a tenth. So it's good for him as well. And Masa, he needs to string together some wins. He needs perhaps to win this round right now to have a realistic shot at it. Because the others will be finalists in no time. Can he do that right here and clutch up? And maybe we can get towards a triple finalist. It's all though relying on Masa getting a win right now in the last round of New School. If Masa gets this win, it would be so important for him. He is currently 20 points behind Mutta, so denying him these points would be huge. But Mutta is now in the lead after getting a little bit of an ice slide. And Masa is now trying to push it. Is he going to be able to deny him? He is not. And Mutta is pushing himself up to finalist position. Masa and Afi trailing right behind. And Mutta now has a very real chance to join Call Junior in the finals. He's going to be finalist, he's going to go to Slalom, but look at how the points line up here. One win for Afi and he is finalist, two wins for Ma Masa and he is finalist as well. This is going to be very exciting. Slalom, yeah. the map, let's look at it one more time and talk me through what this map is all about. Well, in the start of the map, we have a small full speed section which, which caters greatly for Mutter's playstyle as he accumulates a lot of speed. Throughout the map, we're gonna have a couple of slaloms that the players have to navigate through, one of them with a reactor boost that the players are gonna have to maintain all the way through the uphill right here. And then in the final section of the map, we have an ice slide 180 turnaround into a zigzag jump for the finish. And that jump is very difficult to do to set it up right. We saw Pack hitting that lantern. It can happen or you crash in the downhill on your way there. But already in the start here, let's pay attention to the tiny details. How you set up this drop down, for example, to build up speed. Right now, it looks like Mosa and Afi have a bit more speed than Mara, And that is already building up to be about a tenth of a lead against him. These things can matter. Mutter gonna set up a bit wider on the grass, gonna get a little bit more speed here to bring him closer as we get heading into the slalom sections. Yeah, and 
right here in the slalom. This is where we've also seen Mota get a lot of exit speed, but he is right now point one behind the rest of the field, and he's going to have to push it if he wants to be able to get this final situation over with. Actually losing a little bit of time here to Masa and Afi, and they're going to be neck and neck fighting for that victory right here. But going into the ice turnaround, this is where Mota shines truly, and he might be able to get a little bit closer to the rest of the players. Who's going to get this? The best Mota going for such an inside line, actually pressuring the others, but it looks like Masa and Afi do have enough exit speed to maintain the lead but Mota almost making it happen and three thirty-five thousandths of a second separating the players oh my god what an opening round Masa gets that win and both him and Afi now are getting dangerously close to finalists themselves Mota could taste victory right there it was three hundredths of a second away but on his map choice on his best map the others are able to follow at least for the opening round. But keep in mind, Mara did lose a tenth, and this time, he's right there. He did not lose that time in the beginning, so now the others are going to need to drive even faster to deny him the finals ticket. Yeah, I mean, if you're not ahead of Mutta going into that final turnaround, that is looking very, very scary. And now Masa is going to try to see if he can deny Mutta here going into the first sex first slalom sections right here. Mutta is remaining in the lead, getting that reaction boost, setting up for a quick uphill, trying to get as much extra speed as possible. Masa once again trying to get that lead, and he does get it, heading into the final section of the map. Oh, he has crashed out. He's hoping right now, praying for Masa to get it, to bring it to a triple final situation. He has a 3 tenth advantage. Is this something Mata can deal with? Masa going for the inside line, but look at Mata's exit speed. Mata Ooh. is going to overtake down the hill, and if he lands this jump, then he is going to join Carl Jr. off the end. Otak in the finals. I'm sorry, but Mata has done his job. He's going in to the grand finals. What an amazing performance as well there from Mora, and he really shows that he has the consistency on slalom to fight with the very best, and he puts himself there in the grand finals with the other three players and we have we have our finalists we we can we can see who's going to be playing in the finals that came down to the wire just a couple of rounds remaining if Masa wins there it's triple finalist it's do or get knocked out in the semi in just one round of slalom Mara avoids that scare just barely and wow I mean, amazing matches so far. I think both these semis could have been finals in their own right. But the final that we will have now consists of uh, um, Otak, Mime, Carl Jr. and Mora. And what do you make of that matchup, Janik? Okay, so that is going to be a very interesting matchup. What a stacked field we have here in the finals, as you also would expect. But Carl Jr. and Mora showing up greatly here in this last semi-finals before we head into the finals and they're gonna fight against once again Otak and Mime. Mime really really showed dominance in the last semi-finals heading up to that finalist position by far way ahead of everybody else. Did have a little bit of trouble closing down that finalist position though but definitely showing us that he has the pace to fight with them as well and Otak the 17 year old French player playing on home turf Orkless also has shown us that he definitely has what it takes but will he be able to win that world championship we will have to see it's so exciting to see two rookie players in their first world championship in the final and now Mura in his second one to join them together can one of them dethrone Carl Jr the greatest of all time the four-time world champion looking for his fifth we're going to have to see it's going to start very soon but one thing to note is uh, the picks and bans we're gonna get those coming in as well what do you make of those, though, Danik? Do you think that uh, we're going to get to see things like forest climbing? Are they going to take that away? Are they going to take well, away um, New School as well? So, I think New School is an important map to take away from Carl Jr. as he also just picked it and showing that he has the pace on it. But we also saw Carl Jr. not winning as many matches on it as he has done previously. So, maybe they're not as scared of it, even though they should be. The other thing is that both Carl Jr. and Mime, both of them banned bolt holes so will call junior ban bolt holes or will he give that to mime and then call junior can ban something else like banning force climbing away from mime yeah they might want to ban it like carl is good on it but it's just oh like how do you feel like i don't think i would uh would allow it I, you've seen his dominance and then there's a question of like okay otak do you give him poolside how many maps you can't ban more than one otak might get his poolside through and that's where he can shine really bright. 
And then lastly, Mudder, the slalom pick. It looks insane. He gets yeah. two tents on everyone, every time in the ending. No chill at, at all. So everyone has their strengths, everyone has their weaknesses, they tend to ban them. And what we are left with is just an incredible match. Honestly, it's going to be an amazing match. No matter what picks and bans they're going to be, I think it's going to be tight. And I think at the very, very ending, we're going to, you know, almost fall out of our chairs, out of a, just sheer excitement, because I don't think anybody in this field is going to be able to take home the victory dominantly. No, no, it's going to be hard fought. It's going to be, uh, you know, back and forth. They all have their maps and it's like, okay, you cannot beat Mud on Solom, but you get a couple points there. You can't beat Carl on New School, but you get a points there and it will balance out. And if it's anything like the semis we saw, uh, this I think is one of the most stacked World Championship Finals we've had. Oh, absolutely. And the pace of all the players, they're incredible. They've been driving world record times multiple times on the different maps, keeping, putting that pace down towards the very, very maximum that you can drive on the maps. And I'm just, I'm just curious to see what their pace advance are now. I'm as well. I think we will have them coming through and we will have the players setting up on stage as well. Mara tweeting out, goal reach, let's go. We have achieved the grand final. I think that was something he people predicted in the last world championship too, but that time he got 12th um, and it did not go his way. But while we are waiting for that, we have some clips to take a look at from the venue itself. This is the winning moment for Otak in France, and I think we are going to hear a happy crowd to see that. <laughs> Otak also. Oh, wow. High energy.